Previously on X Men. Yeah. We are we good to go now? Yep. Yeah, well, I'm good. Well, Wolverine tied it up. Will Wolverine pull his quadricep and yell ah and fall over? <laughs> <laughs> Will he yell? Is the elevator screaming or is my muscle screaming? Will Cyclops ever stop being a waste of space? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> that that is in the, so true. In the, car, in, the car, in the cartoon, he's a waste of space. In the comic, he's an asshole. Yeah, yeah. You got to pick which one you want: worthless guy or asshole. And Jean, don't forget Jean Grey too. So worthless couple. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Jean Grey's dead again. Don't worry, she'll be back next week. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That like, is a revolving on. door, don't you know? Yeah. I was like, okay. Okay. Well, that was the tattoo. So last the time. We got stuck in. Last time, you guys murdered the shit out of Timo and subdued Saw Guerrera and a uh, girl ripped out Timo's good eye, uh, if I remember correctly. I uh, wrapped in a nice. Uh... Nice bit of fabric, tied it off, and we're walking out of here. <laughs> you know, I know, I know why I feel so like out of, like, like uh, having trouble remembering what happened because that was four weeks ago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Wow. Wink. <laughs> okay, Owen Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wilson. That's why. Right. Why we were like, we were, we were like, he he couldn't, Zareph couldn't remember that he got critical injured. And I'm like, like, what happened? I'm like, I don't remember. It was Watch too long the video. Ago. The only, the only time I remembered what, what critical injury someone suffered was when Mondas got his leg shot off. <laughs> <laughs> and then, because, because be that one's player. hard to forget. When somebody loses a limb, it's hard to forget what their injury was. <laughs> yeah. Kind of like the Serenity game I played once back in the, like the late 2000s, and I accidentally oh, uh, fired a shotgun remember, with the gun raised up to my face, so he got shrapnel in the face uh, because the gun exploded and he became fight. basically Doctor Doom. <laughs> oh wow! Yeah, yeah, I remember. She only got an injury in one fight, and then in the final fight, she got another injury. That's what it was. <laughs> yeah, basically, yeah, you, 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 you just basically kept getting critted on. You got injured right. in the, de the desert skirmish, and then you got injured again here. That's what that's what happened. Okay, so, um, you know, as you're standing victorious, you're tying you're tying up Saw Guerrera. Suddenly, a hollow communicator in the or a, a hollow uh, communication device uh, turns on, and a face appears on it and that, where the hell is that image <laughs> oh, no, let's see it. oh man huh oh that that looks cool oh right mike oh <laughs> for some reason i was gonna make a game of thrones joke <laughs> this. my game of thrones and star wars no so, this man appears and and goes I should have known it'd be you guys again. <laughs> uh, Why must you interfere with my plans? Uh, you guys are probably going to kill me for this, but... Why, hello there. <laughs> I know that. Mm. <laughs> just, you, just, you just sense this feeling that from miles away out in the desert you hear, They get it! <laughs> 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 I'll make you proud, Master. <laughs> um, I'm pushing on thing. I I assume the voice is familiar because I don't think we've seen this person before, and I have a theory who this might be. Hello. Yeah. Have we met the <laughs> He uh Oh. 
<laughs> he kind of grins and goes, "You can't, you can't pretend that you don't know who I am." After you forced my mental projection out of one of my own servants. <gasps> no. This no. Guy. Oh my god. I am King Xantavis. A freaking king? King of the King's Legion. No way! Oh! <laughs> They've been quick eating it out. Gro just oh. gives the hologram a stern look. You've been causing all of this mess, and we've had to clean up. Get a little closer to your phone, please. Yeah. What? I'm asking if uh, um, Seraph can get a little closer to the phone. Talk <laughs> louder. Uh, so you're the person's mess we had to clean up. Nice to finally meet you. Because if there's any messes being cleaned up, it'll be me that cleans them up. You know how long this galaxy's been at war. The Sith versus the Jedi. The Republic versus the Empire. Sometimes one wins, sometimes the other wins. It's an endless cycle. Yeah. Yeah, it's... <laughs> oh, what did Gro what did Gro say? Uh, I was no. just testing to make sure I could actually hear it. Sorry. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> It'd be funny though. I'm sorry, it's like Nathan Shaw just be like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, 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 just Gro picks up a piece of garbage and lops it at the hologram and roars. <laughs> <randomly>. <laughs> <laughs> Stop that! Stop it! So. You're the... This coming from the man who broke into Emperor Valkorion's vault and got knowledge from the dark side is talking about balance between the two? He, he smirks and said, Who said anything about balance? I intend to eradicate both of them. It's the only solution. Even Valkorion understood this. That's why he created the Eternal Empire, was to rid the world of the uh, the rules that the Jedi and the Sith had placed upon the galaxy. You sir have gone mad. I suppose you look like you're right from a certain point of view. <laughs> but in a certain point of view, you're wrong. <laughs> because the Rackham them would just bring unnecessary chaos to the galaxy. If any of you other guys want to speak up, you can. <laughs> uh, uh. Basically, he says, I don't see how he's any better than the Sith lately. <laughs> it's like, it's like, I gotta grow a show here. If you just destroy the Jedi and the Sith, like, the galaxy will be in eternal anarchic conflict. Um, uh, oh, go ahead. All right. It says, I can see there's no reasoning with you. Just like in the past with the Eternal Empire, it looks like both the sides have, have uh, 
whether intentional or not, more or less joined forces against their common enemy. You freed Tatooine, and the Empire has... Oh, God. Sorry. Um, okay. Out of character? What is the name of Shola's planet again? I'm trying to remember right. how it's pronounced. What? It's there. Arcania. Arcania. Oh, Arcania. Okay. It says, uh, you got you you have freed Tatooine and the Empire has freed Arcania. Who led? Who le- <laughs> who led the battle on Arcania? Right. <laughs> you you you're at you just you're just expecting him to, to explain that to you? Why not? He's oh, my logging. I hear about good things about her brother. Yeah, it was. It wasn't. It wasn't him. <laughs> <laughs> she just kind of snaps her. <laughs> uh huh. He says. Regardless, <laughs> I've lost two of my three gra- greatest. Uh, footholds in this galaxy and Lothal is close to falling as well so you have forced my hand I'm going to have to execute my backup plan Mm. Mm -hmm. go on and with that the hollow projector turns off (laughs) Oh, <laughs> as I say, that's like I go to Shola, and as I say, go on. He doesn't go on. What a rude man! Honestly, some people have no tact. I know, right? Actually, um, is there possibly a way to figure out where that signal came from? Uh, probably not. <laughs> Ah, uh, sure. Oh, yeah. If there was, and I could have like done something. I'm the tech guy. Maybe, maybe if Nathan had done something while it was still active. Ah. Oh. Son of a gun. Uh, we were too in in character. We were too much sass in the guy to like care about actually trying to figure out where he was. Too busy failing lip service at him. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. I almost uh, said to him when he's like, there's seen those reasoning with you. Oh, I feel so insulted. So Guerrero's just kind of like sitting here tied up going, you guys are going to get it now. Now we're... (laughs) Ah, shut up. Bro, please don't it. (laughs) uh, That that, that, that last one, he pulls up Sagarero by his handcuffs. (laughs) Well, I mean, tie his mouth shut, but okay. <laughs> no, he, he's good. We can move him. <laughs> be sure to, make, uh, making him walk will make him a little bit less upstairs. likely to be flapping his gums. <laughs> be sure to move him upside down as we're going downstairs. I want his head to hit every step. <laughs> Roll for dark side. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so you just kind of you just kind of drag him out while he's uh, he's just kind of muttering to himself about the how the rebellion doesn't have the guts to do what needs to be done. Blah blah blah. Every once <laughs> in a while, of... I hang him from his uh, handcuffs just to remind him who's got him right now. Not tough enough to do this. <laughs> Wait, is everyone is everyone's health and stress um back to normal or no? We're still like in. We're we we're literally picking up moments after we finished last time. Oh, okay. yeah. And yeah, you guys just finished a fight last time. Mm. Okay. So um, maybe our uh, stress is coming back a bit, but I don't think we've healed yet. Yeah. Right. I'll just put everybody's strain back, even though. It's uh, okay. Not really all that necessary because I don't really have any fights planned but yeah it just like you said just a setup uh session today okay so you know th- th- this is uh 
This is kind of like the first moment of peace that you guys have actually had since reuniting after not seeing each other for two years. Yeah. Well, this also means I get to see the ship again. Oh, okay. Me immediately start complaining about any scratches or marks I see that are new on the ship. <laughs> I feel like, hey, 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 if there is any new scratches and stuff, I'll fix it, okay? Just calm down, bro. Yeah. So, I, mean, uh, I thought you guys kept the ship because I think she only took another ship. Um, I th I don't think they were actively using it on Tatooine, though. No, we were not. So it would have been with Beard and Roger. Oh. Pro yeah. Either that or it would have it would have been at like the Rebel base. In fact, that's where it is now because you guys came in on a, a drop ship. <laughs> Beard, beard, well, beard wasn't gonna wasn't gonna risk bringing the ship into a war zone when he didn't have to. Right. So you guys, uh, you guys leave Jabba's palace, and or, or yeah, it's technically Jabba's palace. It's just the Teemo had occupied it, but mm. yeah, unoccupied. Oh, you, you guys return to. Uh, Obi Wan and uh, Hero, who are kind of just you know discussing things and hermits there with them. You guys, you guys drag Saw Gerrera up to uh, the uh, leader of the Hut Rebel Alliance uh, that's been battling here. I like to think he got thrown on the table by Gro. What, what's the table? Uh, he got thrown on a table while tied up. On, uh, oh, girl. I don't think he'd literally be throwing him. He, once again, he'd probably, just to make sure he didn't try anything smart, would be pull, yanking up the handcuffs, keeping him from harming anyone as he gets pulled, pushed into the room. And then once they realize he's weaponless, let them let him go and uh, make sure he walks over to the table. Right. Okay. I am technically a Jedi uh, Padawan. I I'm not gonna go over vicious unless I really yeah. need to. Give me a reason. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you just, you bring him up to Giro. I'm assuming. Yeah, basically run him out to the table so everyone can see who we just brought in. Yeah. Uh, Obi Wan looks at him and goes, "Oh, who's this?" Obi-Wan's never never met the guy. <laughs> uh Master, this is uh Saw Guerrero. He's uh uh he's just been trouble for us recently. Uh <laughs> Roger One goes, that's an understatement. Yeah. Says he's a traitor that we caught with uh uh Timo. Uh, hearing that, Giro looks at him and goes, Oh, you're the traitor I heard about. Oh, no. <laughs> well, he goes, well, Why don't you come a little closer, Mr. Guerrera? <laughs> um, it's like, uh, Saw Guerrera kind of is like reluctant to move up. He just kind of stands back from the table. Is there a particular reason he wants to stand back? <laughs> that I should be aware he's, of? <laughs> he's He's got a big-ass hut trying to get him to come closer. <laughs> I will eat you. And he's tight, he's chained up, so like he can't really defend himself if anything happens. Uh, contemplating pu uh, pushing him closer anyways. <laughs> Undecided. Uh, Joel is just going to walk up. I uh, speak up and whisper in his ear. What? Uh, hi. She's going to whisper, how much is it worth to you to keep your distance between Giro and you? <laughs> he just kind of, he just kind of looks at you and just, and just mutters, I don't want any help from you. All right. She pushes him forward. All right. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to let this happen. Yeah. Yeah. 
he, he kind of stumbles forward and Giro just like reaches out his hand, grabs by the head, and slams his head on the table. Uh, yep, over. yep, dude, that was gonna happen. <laughs> they are the huts are heavy, but they do have some upper body strength. <laughs> That's for making things more difficult than they needed to be. Because I can't, he goes, I can't imagine the amount of information he must have given the King's Legion on the rebellion, which which hindered our efforts here. A couple of Gamorrean guards walk up and uh, pick up Saw Gerrera and drag him off to a holding cell. There, he got by for a light amount of abuse for all the trouble he's done. <laughs> so, <laughs> Gero Gear, looks at the uh, group and goes, Well, I guess I have you to thank for making this a successful campaign. Jabba will be returning soon, hopefully. Unfortunately, that boy doesn't do much of his own fighting. It was a fierce battle, but Nemo is no more. If anyone should be thanked, it's the Jedi Padawan Grow, Nathan, and everybody else that helped the rest. Um. Oh. Um. Actually. Uh. While this is going on, with we'll Guerrero, uh, Gro does kind of look, uh, look off to the side with Obi Wan and uh, uh, mentions uh, essentially that uh, they saw a hologram of the King from the King's Legion in person. Because did you know? We'll probably need to return to headquarters fairly soon then. Um, also mentioned that apparently he's aware of uh, another plant that was taken over by the Empire. Yeah, Arcania was yeah, liberated. Yeah, Arcania. Yeah, I keep forgetting the name. <laughs> I've forgotten. I'm the GM. <laughs> it's not a plant I'm used to. <laughs> and they talk, and he talked about uh, let's all be raided as we speak. Because, ah, yes, um, Kanan and his group are there. I don't know, I don't, I, I don't know quite what's going on there, but it's, it, I've, it sounds like things are going our way, it's just that things are not quite done yet. Uh, Gro then mentions that apparently the king has another backup plan that he mentioned before, uh, leaving the hologram. He also. You're saying, you're, are you, you're saying you're just saying this to Obi Wan, or are you saying this loud enough for everybody to hear? For sure, for Obi Wan. Okay. Well, that's he, unsettling he, news. And he, he uh, no, she, she uh, says he did mention his name. It was what was his name again? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Zantavis. Zantavis. King Zantavis. Zantavis. Does the name sound familiar at all? It says no, but from what I understand, they they arrived from a area of space that has not been explored in quite some time. It's very unlikely that anyone would recognize his name. So someone that's been out in the outer regions for who knows how long. Okay. He also talked about eradicating both the Sith. Jedi Empire and Belly. He uh he nods and goes, Well the Empire and Sith have a lot more to lose than we do, considering well, we're about all that's left. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's just we like okay, what do we do now? We 
should head to base and bring forward. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll assume that you guys are heading back to base then. Yeah, I'll probably head back to base. See, try and figure out where our ship is at and try and get things uh, set up again. Yeah. I mean, I only didn't end this section right away because I was giving you guys a chance to ask any questions if you wanted to for whatever Actually, reason. Yeah, I did want to roleplay with the characters that Chill has not seen two years. Hmm. We could technically do that on the ship. Yeah, that's something yeah, we can well, do after we get back to the ship, so. Okay. Bear. All right, so you guys are back on the ship. <laughs> yeah, it's like I guess like we just uh, take it, take it yeah. all in because yeah, you, yeah, you got you guys, you guys took a drop ship uh, back off the planet and boarded your actual ship. Wait, Sorry. I gotta say, I gotta say this moment is like, as we're on, oh wait, we're inside the ship now, right? Yeah. Yeah, I feel like, Grow, we're home. Grow just slowly turns to you and squints his eyes like he's contemplating whether or not to just wallop you again. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's probably gotten annoyed a few times enough to just kind of smack you on the back of your head and make you double over. <laughs> Probably not even a hard smack from him. <laughs> you get a, as, as you guys get on the ship, uh, Mark walks up to one of the walls and starts hugging it. Uh -huh. <laughs> Look at the droid and get once again not really sure what to think of the droid and continue to walk back towards where his room used to be. Hasn't seen it in a while. Uh, uh, Shola gets on the, the ship. Uh, she goes, it's all right, you can come forward. Yeah, it's you like... kind of see a little girl going to her legs and hide yeah. behind him. Huh? Oh, yeah, I forgot about this. I forgot about this oh. part. Oh, I was like, I was like, huh? Like, yeah, like, wait, wait, who's that? Her Padawan. I forgot about that. Oh. And oh, wait, his, okay, here uh, we go. Wait, set up, right set up there, time. Here we go. Uh, Daphne and girl. Our side. It's like, Bro, Nathan, you should know I'm in Jedi Knight now. And this is my pad one. Tala. What was the name? Tala. T A L A. Tala. Oh, Paula? Tala. 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 Oh, okay, sorry. And she goes. Nathan, read this. I've had one as if you're. as if he cared as. Tala, think of Nathan as a father figure. And grow a big, hairy, furry uncle that you love to hug. Wait. Oh, it's like, it's like, uh, oh, man. <laughs> I'm going to be a dad. <laughs> Feel free to smack him every now and again. We <laughs> hear Roger one go, what am I, chopped liver? And, Mr. Be and, then, and then Mr. Beard literally smacks Roger. <laughs> Come tell it, I'll show you to your room. We'll begin. Yeah, Grove's just kind of quietly watching this for a moment, just like, um, okay, that happened. It's like Nathan's cheeks kind of blush, like, oh, that's so sweet. And uh, as she shows him to her and uh, she lets him down, and it's like, well, that was eventful. Uh, while she's away, uh, Grode kind of uh, crouches down near Nathan and whispers in his ear, don't mess it up, and starts walking. Mm. <laughs> of course. This bro, like, uh, are you sure no. about that? <laughs> are you sure about that? Girl, no, girl will walk. remember this. <laughs> <laughs> so, she'll walk back out and uh, 
season eight this is the first time in a long while. And so. So. You look well. You look great. Thank you. You look like you've been working out. That's like, I kind of like, uh, Lex, one of my buys was like, yeah, Master Obi-Wan trained me well. It's like, I'd be like, I look around and be like, for her, maybe like, you better not say it. Stupid stuff and he said before. She, uh, takes her hand and feels it. <laughs> and goes, could use a little improvement, but I'll give it a passing grade. Oh, it's like he blushes, like, oh, uh, thank you. I've been training with Master Kuro for two years. Accomplished a lot together. Oh, that's great. How was your training with Obi Wan? Well, from what I can remember those two years, it's like he taught me a bit he taught me a lot about his uh Jedi form, Suresu. It was actually quite fun to do. But in the ways of force training, well um and then he kinda like scratches his head in embarrassment is like I'll be frank, I don't think I have much in the ways of the force. She you just hear Roger one in the down the hallway yelling, "Welcome to the club!" <laughs> <laughs> I swear, if droids if droids can uh, learn the force, I will jump kind of off this shit. Uh, she just kind of takes uh, Nathan's head and puts it his forehead to hers and goes, "It's okay, I don't mind." Yeah, it's like, well, I don't mind. I don't mind either. I mean, at least I know how to defend myself pretty good without a blaster. So it's. Well, while, while you two, while, while, you, while you two are having this interaction, this moment, Mark <laughs> Mark randomly wanders by and puts down a a tray with two cups of tea on it and walks away. Call call droid already at work. Aw, that's that's the. It was like, oh wait, do I see the T? Probably. Uh, yeah. I, I would assume that both of you would have had your attention kind of drawn to the protocol droid oh, shuffling oh. in. And... <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. So uh, like... I show a pick of a glass and goes, a toast to you. us. <laughs> Together. Oh. And yep. grow as well. And beard and Roger one. <laughs> you heard that. <laughs> what? <laughs> and you hear you hear Valcorian's voice in the back of your head go, What about me? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, uh she toes a kick and drink. Yep. Mm. And <laughs> I'm going to pretend I didn't hear that. <laughs> <laughs> she kind of sits down on the seats. Uh, 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 motions for Nathan. Well. Yes. So, Nathan. Yes. Where do we go from here? Well, uh, it's like, and he's actually like stammering now at this point, his, his face red. Uh, I, uh, 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 he can't, like, he's so embarrassed at this point. He's like, uh, I, uh, uh. You hear a familiar word, so don't fuck it up, Nate, from drugs. Oh. <laughs> it's like ah, uh, it's like God to heck with it, and then he just like, 
uh, cups uh, Shola, Shola with his hands in him, like kisses, gives a big fat kiss on the lips. Does she immediately get act surprised and she get into as well? And oh, takes her lips back. Yeah, just 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 slide the curtains from this because <laughs> it might get a little steamy. Well, there's like several people on the ship. Oh, if they but mess it, if they mess with us, like you could just use the force and just like push them back. <laughs> Hermit but just wanders by and says, "Get a room." Show <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 looks at him and goes, "What do you want to do after?" Er, well, the fight is over hmm oh for one thing i don't look we have to think of this are we going to be in this war in the long run are we going to keep helping out with master and the others or obviously I mean, i'm not going to run like a coward i'm going to see this through to the end but if we did, like, settle down after all this is over, I definitely do not want to go back to Tatooine. It's, well, words can't describe how much I w hated that place for the past 10 years or so that I've lived there. Or 12, if you count the training with Master. <laughs> I'm just picturing Nathan trying really hard not to go on a rant about sand. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say I did not. Yeah, yeah, he he was gonna do that, but he's like, eh, I'm not gonna say no, it because like, no, Shell doesn't no, need to hear that. don't fall for the meme. The yeah, meme is I, the mic yeah, killer. I'm not going for that. I'm not going to say it. Say it. I'm not because I, I just wanted to say something different. And then Shell just kind of looks at him and goes, "Well." Puts her hand on, uh, on the seat cushion to hit him. Or if not on top of it, it goes. I would like to settle someplace nice. Like Naboo, except without the Emperor. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, Naboo would be a nice place to live. But I mean, after the King's Legion, where do. What do you to do? It's mm. It's fine. But what do you want us to be after the is over? Um <laughs> here we go. It's like Nathan's like coughs like <clears throat> and then it's like <laughs> he, he um goes on one knee and then he he put he takes like both her hands and be like if at later after all this is done when it's truly peaceful I want you to uh and then he stammers a bit and be like I want you to be my wife <laughs> okay yeah, no 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 in all serious uh it's this uh, it's this yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I know. It's supposed to be kind of funny. It's supposed to be kind of funny, but also lovey dovey stuff. <laughs> so, uh, she'll, uh, kind of stares blankly, kind of blushes, and goes, I like that. I like that. It's like, and then it's like, David's like, uh, stands up a meal, is like, really? That's great. She leaps into his arms. Yeah, it's like, haha, yeah. And then someone get the someone get the Star Wars like <laughs> oh man that's or grow like probably just like in the background like you did good kid <laughs> actually he's probably busy just making sure everything in the ship is still working that's what he was <laughs> that's what he was heading off to do anyways just make sure all the systems are working nothing else got messed with while they were gone. And matter of fact, Mark coming out there with tea was probably part of his setting things up, making sure that uh, the food was working properly and everything else. Yeah, I always wanted to ask, like, uh, a little... 
uh, out of character, how does marriage work in Star Wars usually? It's like it's like real life marriage, right? At least human humans like more or less. Oh, okay. Just wanted to know. Yeah, you just, you just... yeah as far as I'm aware of it, I mean the uh, uh, Anakin and uh, Padme <laughs> and I... got married at the end of episode <laughs> I two. Gonna, I was gonna say it's just it's just like it's it's just like real life, except yeah. you, you, except you do it in secret and don't tell anyone that you're marrying the princess from Naboo. Yeah. <laughs> And they're on you almost blow up a planet and murder all the younglings. <laughs> right. So uh Shoa then gives as she leaps into Nathan's arms, gives him the biggest kiss ever. <laughs> and yeah, and then he happily says to her, "It's like I think I think we both know now where our destinies are gonna lie later after this is all over." With a smile, and uh, yeah, she'll uh, kind of watch. Hmm. Uh, uh, he walks into the uh, co-pilot co seat next to Grow. Uh, as you're walking in, and that's good. And she just got, looks at Grow and is like, so how much were you listening? Uh, actually, as you're walking in, you, you hear... Uh, <laughs> which is him yelling over the intercom to one of the droids that he needs a Samuel flange. <laughs> I knew someone would get that. Because you're Roger go, what the heck is a Samuel flange? <laughs> you hear him shout back at Wookie, don't question me, I know it's in the cargo. <laughs> <laughs> and as you, as, as Shola pops in and asks how much she, he was listening he kind of looks up oh just half listening he's flicking a few more switches making sure everything's lighting up seems like we need to tighten up a few things but otherwise most of it seems to be running fine so Nathan asked me to marry him Kind of half turns, kind of slowly nods and looks back to the council. I kind of, kind of figure as, kind of figure as much if he was smart. <laughs> Flick a few more switches. Yeah, it's like imagine like uh, <laughs> it's like David. Then, uh... David's like singing the cantina theme while like making sure everything's like spick and span the ship like that 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 he's like so happy right now like he doesn't and care how back and make sure he's... uh Nathan ain't listening. He just goes Oh my gosh, I was so nervous. <laughs> <laughs> And Hermit's just like, why are you telling me this? <laughs> hear mild wookie laughter. <laughs> like, oh my gosh, I, 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 I gotta take some things. I gotta know the flower arrangements. I gotta know <laughs> By the way, during during all this stuff, I'm I'm just gonna you know, assume that at some point uh, everybody that was reasonably injured took a turn in one of the Bakta tanks to get healed up properly. Yeah, right. We have plenty of Bakta tank. Yeah. Last time I checked, at least. It's been it's been a long time since he took a good thorough uh, cleaning since leaving with Obi Wan anyway. So yeah, uh, grow would definitely be for. About to tank and then a wash up. Just, oh just Wookie God, slow mo with a hair dryer again. <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> and uh, Shella just keeps going on and even in box of things here. <laughs> She's like, "Oh my gosh, what are we gonna tell my brother? Oh my gosh, the dress." Oh. And then like oh wait if, if if like Nathan like realizes and then bullet sweat sweats going on it's like oh no 
Yeah, if Shella's literally gonna just keep be going on and on, if if Grocross mm -hmm. comes across her again, he's literally just gonna reach out, big Wookie finger, poke her in the tip of her nose. Focus. Focus. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. And then and then slowly walks away again. <laughs> <laughs> Moment of Wookie like, wisdom. <laughs> it's <all> this all... <laughs> Is somehow this all over and and uh um you know uh Nathan Lake goes off to Master Master Obi Wan be like Master I'm getting married Obi Wan just starts getting PTSD flashbacks about yeah you just see you just see him go white eyed pale and then just oh no <laughs> why do I have a feeling you're also going to be the death of me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I didn't even think about that. Why don't you hope my Padawans get married? Next Grow is going to find another Wookiee. He probably will. I'm I, I'm just saying, like, probably after the session, like, Matt's going to make something. No, uh, no, I'm sure, I'm sure Grow will find himself a nice little Ewok. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, Shola comes out and uh, goes and starts doing some training with Paula. All right, so was that every everything you wanted to do? Yeah, I think uh, that was all our all our our gushy moments we had to splurge out. Yeah. Well, I guess she would talk a beer and try to catch up. Oh, oh yeah, right, right. But other than that, no. Yeah, so I mean, I'm not gonna really role play, but let's say that when you, when she talked to Beard, he uh, made a comment about the mission being a lot easier than he expected. But then again, this crew knows what they're doing. Things he didn't mention something about things being real crazy on uh, Mandalore while he was fighting alongside Sabine, and something about the dark saber. Oh, that reminds me. We uh, we have uh, unofficially did something about that uh, other uh, Sith blade I had, correct? Uh, um, I I took it off your character sheet, but uh, I don't think we ever role played what you did with it. Yeah, I don't I think we ever role played what we did with it, but I assume we removed it for one reason or another. I'm going to assume that if nothing else, um, meet up with Obi Wan, uh, he was able to find a way to like put somewhere else where it would stay safe for a while. Or I could honestly see you just burying it somewhere on Tatooine where no one's gonna find it. Well, yeah, and that's what I mean. It's like, we'll just find some way to like, seal it away somewhere or just yeah. find a big enough hole to bury it then nothing yeah. will find it again for a very long time. Yeah, bury it in some sand, move a boulder on top of it. <clears throat> no one's gonna find it. <laughs> It's gonna be a sand dune in like five months. It's not gonna be found. Trust me. Un oh, unless no. it's a hell of a Sith Lord looking for every little trinket. All right. So you know everybody's everybody's had time to get healed up. You've been you've been going kind of slow because you're trying you've been trying to get yourselves patched up before getting back to base. Um, and then you know. Your ship's communication device goes off. Uh, cap oh. The captain's first to the the yeah. uh, to the, <laughs> to the hologram again. So you answer it, and it's Ahsoka. Oh. oh. And she's like, "We've got a serious problem." All right, what's happening? Where do you need us? The King's Legion. Their entire fleet is heading for Coruscant. Oh, oh no. All right. Heading, she says, I'm going to be heading there myself along with some more soldiers and fighters, but you're the only people I can contact. Kanan's group's still busy on Lothal. All right, we'll be there as soon as we can. We were already heading towards base to begin with. Uh, uh, so we'll be there as soon as possible. Sure. 
Shola is there, right, to watch this, right? I assume uh, most of the room, uh, most of the ship uh, tries to at least get to the doorway so they can hear what's going on. <laughs> I don't think everyone can fit in the room, but I'm sure everyone can at least be in the doorway to hear it. Yeah. Uh, Shola... Oh, yeah, this is immoral. Would Shola send a message to her brother warning her start heading to the forest? What? Would Shola send a message to her brother warning about the entire fleet coming to Forza? Chances are he already knows because if the Rebellion not noticed it, the Empire would have noticed it. Right, okay. They're just right. op they're just openly about to lay siege to Coruscant. They're 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 not being subtle about this at all. Yeah, if the rebellion's already telling us that's happening, then they're not like hiding it at all. It's big obvious movement in space. Everybody's seeing it. Right. We just yeah. happen to be out of the loop because we're in a single ship slowly heading back towards the main base. Okay. Yep, yeah. and you guys were healing up because you did have some bad injuries. Yeah. So you, you've mm -hmm. probably, you've probably, it's probably been about at least a day since you left Tatooine. Doesn't take that long to travel, but you're worrying about other things while you're on the way back to base. Or you were, anyhow. <laughs> well, now we've got other things to worry about. So immediately yeah. Rose starts heading towards the cockpit and getting a quick calculation of the Coruscant and uh, go to light speed. Uh, Shola joins him and the co-pilots. Okay, so, you know, you guys head there, um, and just a, as you're as you're coming out of uh, as you're coming out of what is it, hyperspace, or that's what it is yeah. in Star Wars, right? Hyperspace. Okay, Light. just huh? Light speed. I don't think they ever Light. call it that though. Oh, yeah. yeah, maybe it was that. Maybe it's hyperspace. I can't remember. Anyway, yeah, I think it's hyperspace. So as as you as you're coming as you're coming out and your ship is patching into the, uh, you know, the Rebel Alliance's radio network that communications. So the you know the thing that lets the fighters all contact each other. You actually you actually hear a voice that sounds like Mundus say, "What in the world is that?" <laughs> And uh, as you come out into in, in, into the middle of a battle that's already going on, there's rebel ships and empire ships flying all over the place, fighting with legion ships. And you see the legion's massive flagship that is like twice the size of a star destroyer, and it looks like it has a castle on top of it. Does this guy really have to be showing off like this? Basically, uh, Goro is like, okay, we know our target. <laughs> He's starting to uh, get things together and get ready to turn to start strafing the giant castle ship. Uh, show us uh, that's a frequency. <clears throat> Mundus, is that you? You, you hear him go, you hear Mundus' voice go. Nice to see, nice to see you guys again. Odd timing though. I'll, I'll <laughs> girl, girl, girl quickly uh, calls back. Always an odd timing. <laughs> yeah. Wouldn't would it, would it be the same? Never. <laughs> yeah, you see, you you realize that that uh, Mundus is piloting piloting a Y wing. Yeah. He's got his own ship now. Right. I mean, he kind of had to. He was going off by himself mm -hmm. for a bit. Came back and became a Y Wing no, pilot. You okay. Have, you have things with a score keeper and you have a thing to keep score against you and Bro. But I have bad news. Bro went up to you again. He got best man to Nathan Ide's wedding. <laughs> he he just kinda like doesn't say anything, goes So did you guys kill Timo? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah we Girl people. literally holds up the little trophy. I got his eye. 
<laughs> no, no, you can't be playing with those. Give it back. He just kind of like just casually talking. He's like, I, I took down a couple of the, of the. Oh my god. Hold on. <laughs> what? Oh, we lost somebody. Oh. Whoops. Oh. Wait. Oh, Zara Zara dropped out. Um, oh, must be his internet. Oh, there he is. He's back. Must be his thing that dropped. Okay. Yeah. What did he say? Mundus. Uh, Mundus uh, just kind of like he he's just like blowing up enemy fighters as he's just casually talking. He's like, yeah, like I took out because I took out a couple of the, the couple of the guys from that clan that that locked us up. Good. Uh, how's your clan doing, by the way? I managed to find uh, pretty much all my family members. I found my brother. He didn't <laughs> like. He didn't like that I teamed up with a Wookiee. We had a duel. I beat him, and I told him to go sit in a corner. <laughs> <laughs> Make him rethink his actions. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Make him think what he's done and sit in that damn corner. Uh, by the way, I assume that uh, if they're not armed, I'm also blasting things with our ship too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're you're kind. Of, you guys are just kind of fighting your way towards the flagship. We're just literally just our ships just happen to be in the same spot at the same time, and we're just blasting our way through. <laughs> right. There's just chaos all over the place. <laughs> Just yeah. well, yeah, chaos as usual, and anything yeah. that sits in our targeting long enough, we just get it out of our way as long as it's not an ally. So, in other words, we just started the last. Yeah. And you actually just, uh, as you're getting near the the, uh, the the flagship, you do see like um, part of the castle that's that's uh, near the front that uh kind of you, you thought was just like a decorative gateway apparently is some sort of weapon because you just saw what looked like a large hand made out of um like black energy shoot out of it and hit a star destroyer Oh, okay man. that needs to be deactivated as quickly as possible can we find out where the engines for this thing are That or at least directly fire into that weapon because it needs to be stopped like now. You're you're looking at it. You think it's you don't think it has an engine. You think it's some sort of force weapon. Yeah, Ooh. we need to need to attack that thing directly. <laughs> as far as you can tell, the best course of action would be to just blast the archway until it collapses. Mm-hmm. So we're just, we're just gonna pelt that thing with fire until it crumbles yeah. in on itself. Yeah, you signal Mundus uh, what you're planning, and a couple other. He he signals a couple other uh, rebel fighters that he's made friends with that that join in, and uh, you know, you guys you guys uh, circle around a few times <clears throat> and bombard it until it until it collapses. And this is where we're going to stop for the night as you are basically moving into land after knocking down the weapon. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, man. Got, got at least Ooh. an hour in, so now we have to set up for the big final battle for next time. Yep. And probably a dungeon crawl, technically speaking. That's probably what we're landing for, is we're going to head in there and t take care of this personally. Yep. It's gonna be like a little bit of a. It's gonna be more of a gauntlet than a dungeon crawl because I'm not actually gonna make an actual map for it. Like the weird thing is, like with this system, the way movement works in this, it's like another thing that's kind of discouraged me from actually, um, making maps because the way the long and short distance between characters yeah, thing or the, the 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 distance measurements in this thing are really kind of wonky but anyways so that's gonna be it for tonight then have a good yeah. night everybody good night good night night